Well, let's move on to other news now. And the U.S. President Donald Trump says that he does not want a war with anyone over the attacks on Saudi Arabia's oil facilities. This comes after the Saudi-led coalition claimed that the initial investigations showed Iranian weapons were used in the attacks. Trump also said that it appeared as if Iran was behind the attacks, but he wanted to be sure about it. Yesterday, Trump said that the U.S. was locked and loaded to respond to the attacks, but he was now, uh, he's now saying that even though the U.S. is ready more than anybody to help Saudi Arabia, he is hoping to avoid war with Iran. Internet options right now, we want to find definitively who did this. Uh, we're dealing with Saudi Arabia, we're dealing with the Crown Prince and so many other of your neighbors, and we're all talking about it together. We'll see what happens. We'll let you know. As soon as we find out definitively, we'll let you know, but it does look that way. Do I want war? I don't want war with anybody. I'm somebody that would like not to have war. We have the strongest... And yesterday, the Saudi-led military alliance said the attack on the oil industry was carried out with Iranian weapons. They were not launched from Yemen, as claimed by Iranian allied Yemeni Houthi rebels. Iran's President Hassan Rouhani did not speak about these allegations, but he defended the attacks by the Yemen rebels, saying that they were an act of self-defense in response to years of attacks by the Saudi-led coalition. کاری که مردم یمن انجام میدن دفاع مشروع از خودشون هست حمله متقابل هست راحل اساسی هم پایان دادن به این تجاوز هست ما معتقدیم راحل یمن یه راحل سیاسی هست and at the United Nations Security Council, Yemen's envoy condemned the attack and said that it had increased the chances of a regional conflict. China also condemned the attack. So while a crisis may be brewing at the global level, some countries are trying to make the most of it. Take Russia, for example. The Russian president proposed to sell it, well, the country's missile systems to Saudi Arabia so that it can defend itself. Putin offered the same defense systems that it had sold to Iran and Turkey earlier. Uh, his remarks came after U.S. officials blamed Iran for the attack on Saudi facilities. His comments were aimed more at the United States, it seems, than at Saudi Arabia, as the U.S. systems failed to detect or intercept the attacks on Saudi's oil facilities. Here's what he said. Вот, чтобы защитить свой род, свою страну, мы готовы оказать соответствующую помощь Саудовской Аравии, а политическому руководству Саудовской Аравии достаточно принять мудрые государственные решения. Так как это сделали в свое время руководители Ирана, закупив э, С-300, и так как сделал президент Эрдоган, закупив в России новейшие комплексы ПВО С-400 «Триумф». Они надежно защитят любые объекты инфраструктуры Саудовской Аравии. And it seems that uh, President Putin was having some, uh, well, fun at the expense of the United States. He was seen uh, smirking, as many believe, uh, with the Iranian counterpart, uh, who also shared a laugh. And well, years ago, Iran agreed to buy the S-300 missile defense systems from Russia, despite U.S. opposition. Russia had earlier refused to complete the sale due to the U.S. pressure and the U.N. sanctions on Iran. It completed the delivery in 2016 after the Iran nuclear deal was signed. The U.S. had also opposed Turkey's plans of buying the S-400 defense system from Russia. It threatened uh, Turkey with sanctions and urged it to buy the U.S. Patriot missiles instead. But Turkey defied the United States too. It received the first delivery from Russia in July this year. Now, Russia is looking at Saudi Arabia for a potential deal. Currently, Saudi Arabia is one of the biggest buyers of U.S.-made weapons. Trump has always boasted about the deals with Saudi Arabia. In fact, Trump did not allow the U.S. to block the arms sales to Saudi Arabia even after the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. And Ross Carlin is now joining us live from Moscow for the very latest on how the Russian government is looking at this. And Ross, uh, well, the big question is, will Russia play mediator between Iran and Saudi Arabia? Is that something they're even looking at at this point?
Russia is clearly keen to portray the skill that it sees of its president, Vladimir Putin, at playing this kind of high-wire act, showing his ability to interact with all sorts of different players who, on the face of it, have major differences of opinion with each other. Of course, the major two we're talking about here are Saudi Arabia and Iran, big regional rivals, uh, and Russia is seen as one of the major backers of Iran, and of course the United States, a major supplier of military hardware and a key diplomatic ally of Saudi Arabia. Now, this we can link back to 2018 here and the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, the Saudi journalist uh, in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, and Russia didn't join in with some of the rounding kind of condemnation of, of this killing by some of the uh, Western countries in, in Europe. Um, and it kind of played a line by, by agreeing with what the Saudi government said for the official reason for the killing, which was he died in a brawl inside the consulate, as opposed to uh, a, a pre-planned homicide. And it towed that, that wire out because it could see possibly a fracturing of the support in Saudi Arabia and the region for the West, We've seen a rowback uh, from some of the European countries and uh, it's trying to maybe force a wedge slightly uh, within some of the circles of Democrats and Republicans in the United States, suggesting, as you say, that Saudi Arabia could be better off protecting its own oil facilities if it were to buy Russian missile defence systems rather than sticking with the United States Patriot missile defence systems that it has at the moment. So we're seeing through at the moment Mr Putin demonstrating his skill at managing different allies. Uh, that was certainly something that was on show yesterday on Monday in Ankara where we saw the, uh, the meeting with uh, Iran and Turkey he, on the same side as Iran, Mr Putin, but of course different sides from Turkey when it comes to the Syrian civil war, managing to show that yes, we might be on different sides when it comes to Syria, but with Turkey, they're also going to buy our missile defence systems. So it demonstrates Mr Putin's flexibility in dealing with these uh, global machinations on, on the world stage. Well, absolutely. And Ross, thanks very much indeed for joining us uh, with the latest on how Russia is looking at this, uh, uh, well, battle between Saudi Arabia and Iran uh, that is underway.